What? You rolled the dice already. Would you brother, concentrate, brother, man? It's most... Brother, it's your question. Just listen. Okay? We're trying to teach you some English. That's why I got the Green Phantom here playing Trivial Pursuit with us. Yes, Green Phantom. You should be thankful and not so damn annoying, brother. Dude, you gotta learn to get with the green, right? <laughs> See, get get green. You, you guys aren't putting me in a good mood, brother. Let's get this game over with, all right? I got, I got one piece left. Okay. I okay. want to get the hell out okay. of here. Okay. Stay calm. Breathe. Breathe. I'm sorry. Okay. Here is your question. Are you ready? See, Are you see. ready? See? Okay. What is Boy George's last name? Okay, wait, wait. Let's make this a little easier. I know. Okay. What is Hulk Hogan's last name? What is your last name? Los Gringos Americanos. <laughs> Our lessons ain't working, brother. Our lessons ain't working. And I'm getting yeah. damn annoyed. Yeah. Pinky, sit down. Look. Pink colors, no pie. You ain't winning. Just I want to win. I have one more piece left. The green piece. As if I'm not going to win, brother. Okay. Let's get this over with. Right. Okay. okay. So your question is for Put the green pie. You can't read. What? You can't read. Okay, here's your question. Are you ready? I'm always ready, brother. All right. What secondary color is formed by the mixing of yellow and blue? This is my game, brother! This is my color! It's the green, baby! Let's just see what that says, and... No, I'm afraid not, actually, it's purple. <laughs> what are you talking about, brother? Yeah, purple, that's... You playing right. games with me? No, no, no. Just like the commissioner, brother? No, no, you no. You playing no. these games? I don't care about no, this yes, stuff. Uh, yes, I don't know why I agreed to this anyway. All this stuff, you know, so many things going wrong these days. You remind me just like the commissioner on your no, game, no. giving title shots to excess, booking comedy acts like you guys. I don't need any of this stuff. That commissioner pal's a chump. I swear if I see that guy right now, I would break his damn neck. Whoa, why don't you You're say making me want to take it out on you, brother. No, he was saying he likes the commissioner. The commissioner's a no good son of a bitch who's not done anything for me. He gave access to title shot. I since I lost my belt, I didn't get nothing, brother. I got nothing. I'm here with you pukes. Look at you. Maybe we should have cake. some cake. I don't swing like that. What, what the hell's that guy doing? Hey! Hey! Oh! All right. Hey, Next question. Gonna... Phantom. What's inside a toad's warts? Samedi soir, le 28 février, au centre NDR. A gauntlet match. J'ai l'honneur de vous présenter ici, à côté de moi, le gagnant du gauntlet match, mesdames et messieurs, Fred La Merveille. Yes, Fred de la merveille. Eh oui, samedi soir prochain, dans mon ring, il va y avoir des gars comme Buff Wellington, il va y avoir des gars comme le Fantôme Vert, il va y avoir des gars comme Kevin Martel, il va y avoir des gars comme Matt Classic. <rire> C'est quoi ça? Il vient de la, la Colombie-Britannique? <rire> voyons là, voyons donc. Penses-tu que je vais avoir peur de ça? Police de Laval! Hein, j'ai été changé, oui. Police de Laval, oui. Fait que samedi soir prochain dans le ring, les gars. Moi, ils ont mené un par un. Moi, montrer c'est qui la vraie police de Laval. C'est qui le meilleur lutteur ici au Québec. Je vais vous montrer que moi, Fred la Merveille, va être aspirant au titre de championnat IWS qui va donner le championnat SLI. C'est un garanti. Kurt, two months ago, <coughs> you came into my match and you beat the shit out of me. And you know what? That's not even the part that bothered me. What ticked me off just a bit is what you did after. And what you did was you, you took the microphone and then you said something. I believe it was Jacques says hello. See that? I have a little problem with that, man. So I decided I'd get even with you. And I did appraise the violence when I cost you the tag team titles. And at that point, man, For me, everything was cool between me and you. We were even, everything was great. But no, you came back, attacked me again. So if you know how to count, which I doubt, that makes two for you and one for me. So I, I gotta get even again, man. And I'm gonna do that at Valentine on February 28th. And see, on my new shirt, it says, on the back, it says Mr. Wrestling. But me and you, it's not gonna be about wrestling. No, it, it's gonna be about me kicking your fucking ass for everything you've done to me in the last two months. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. And you know what scares me the most, Kurt? Is when I think about what's gonna happen, 
When I think about what I'm going to do to you, I don't even feel guilty. And I should, because next time you want to go see Jacques at the flea market, after I'm done with you, you're going to have to do it in a fucking wheelchair. Because I'm going to break your fucking legs, you big piece of shit. Uh, fake jeans, I tell you, they play, they play havoc with me. It's rough. Commissioner Fitzmaurice, how's it going? Oh, you, you know, I was just doing a number two in there. Do you? Do you? I, I'm, I'm well aware, but I need to meet you in a very private area. I have some... I, w I overheard a conversation I think you might be interested in. I... It better be serious stuff. Last time you were complaining to me about some fluorescent hat of yours, this better well, be hey, something that, serious. that fluorescent hat was not part of the custody agreement you made. Oh, I got that for you. Oh, oh now, when I witnessed Beef wearing my hat, he, I also saw the Green Phantom. He was talking a lot of bad things about yours truly, Mr. Fitzmaurice here, the Commissioner. Well, you know what? Uh, that's, uh, that's, that, it just shows he's a spoiled guy right now. He's feeling, his feelings are hurt, you know, ever since he's lost his title. He thinks I'm not giving a fair shake. Excess has a shot, he wants one. You know, no, not everyone can be happy. Uh, you know, just that spoiled, childish kind of guy. He ain't grateful. But I'm glad you uh, brought him up because uh, you're someone that uh, maybe helped me. See, oh, I, can always I have uh, Excess's best interest in mind, you know. To me, he's the superstar of the future. No offense to your playboyishness, but you know, uh, you do have a better mustache than him. I, I definitely do. But uh, you know, the thing is, Phantom's in this gauntlet match, right? Yeah. And if he wins this match, he becomes uh, the number one contender, and the next show he gets a shot at the champion. And we all know that XS is going to be the champion well, obviously. come next show. PCO so win two matches. The thing is, I don't want uh, I don't want Phantom and XS to fight. I mean, last time they fought, uh, Phantom broke his neck. Gonzo Bomb, Randy Miller, Ray. I don't want this to happen. You know, they were they were okay as a tag team. They were getting ready to explode. I don't want that to happen. But you know, plus since they were a tag team, you know, I knew all beef weaknesses. Phantom, I'm sure, knows all of excesses. Yeah, you know, they were, they're, especially near the end, they, they totally knew each other's steps. And that's where you can help me, see? Hmm. If you can maybe somehow uh, enable Phantom to not win that match. You know, the, the, I didn't say that because I want, I want success, success for the Phantom, you know? I just don't oh, want yeah. to uh, be injured in excess. So if you can make that not happen, uh, you might find some, uh, some good cards coming your way in the IWS. Well, you know, I always have your best interest in mind. And, you know, had Beef and El Generico not been there, I would have gone and kicked his ass right there. But three yeah, on one situation, sure I felt, you, I sure I felt you, uh, you know, I should inform you about it first so you can, you know, rectify yeah. it. But so take care of that thing it. for me. And by the way, I still find you very creepy for meeting me in the bathroom. It was perfectly innocent. It's a men's bathroom? Isn't it? <laughs>